What's up everybody, this is the Classic Tycoon here, and today I'm going to do a ride tutorial on Junior Roller Coasters, and um, I'm going to go into my ride designer here, and let's just dive right into it here. So, Junior Roller Coasters are a great kind of first roller coaster um, to have in your park. Here are a few ride designs that you could definitely look at and get some inspiration from. I usually build these pretty small. Um, you could definitely build a big version of one of these, but honestly they're not that exciting to build, but they're still great because they're cheap and um, they can really get you some, some good revenue as like a very first roller coaster to have in your park, and it's something small um, that can get your guests excited. So let's go ahead and watch this thing. Okay, I did a small chain lift there into two um, uh, hill turns. Okay, I'm going to go up to 25 feet right here, and I'm going to do extra wide turns around. These are not banked turns. Okay, the, go the roller coaster is going to be going slow enough at this point that that's going to be all right. So I'm going to do another hill right here, but it's going to be a large turning hill into um, some large bank turns, or just one large bank turn. Um, and then we're going to go up again, this time to 15 feet. Then right here, we're going to do a large helix, two of them. This is a, then I'm going to dip it down to zero feet right here with a normal hill. Then I, I do want to put another helix in right here. Um, so we're going to have to put in one more flat piece of, of uh, track right there. And we're going to do a small helix. Th uh, two of them, okay, then a large turn here and then a small turn. Um, and then we'll be able to connect the track now with the block brakes at the end. And there is our junior roller coaster, okay. So kind of a fun looking build. I think it's uh, it turned out pretty good. Let's go ahead and test it and make sure that everything uh, goes smoothly for it here. This is, I know this is a really small ride, okay, but um, that's kind of the idea with the junior roller coaster is it's just, again, like a beginner uh, roller coaster that I usually put pretty early in the park just to get some money flowing. There it goes. And that made it just fine, and there was nothing, uh, nothing to really be worried about there. All of the, the turns look to be making it nice and smooth. So we'll let that. Uh, let, yeah, let's see our ratings here. Four point three three, medium excitement rating, a little bit high of an intensity rating, mm, but it's it's really not too bad, not too bad at all, especially for how small this thing is. Um, this is, these are some pretty decent ratings, and you'll, uh, you'll, you should be able to get some good cash, uh, out of one of these. But just like with the other episodes, let's see what happens when we add some, uh, yeah, some scenery and stuff. So 4.66, that went way up just from the, uh, the, uh, the pathways there. So let's put in some trees here. and see what that did. So we went all the way up from a 4.33 to a 4.74 and that's going to give you another 40 cents that you can make off of each guest um, with the junior roller coaster there. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and go into the paint brush and just change up a little bit. I mean all I really did was add the abstract entrance right there. And yeah that's a that's a Pretty nice looking little roller coaster right there. I do like it. All right. Um, 
yeah, everything's in the black, and you can always save your ride designs if you, um, if you're in your ride designer. So I really do recommend guys getting the ride designer if you've got the money for it. It's really, uh, really nice. Um, I do this in every episode, but I just want to show you guys how to change your units, uh, your height markers, I guess. So right now I did just set it to units and you can see that's the plus two, plus three. But this is just under options. Uh, where you go to height markers and you can set it to real and that is where I get my feet markers if you were wondering that All right. so um, thanks so much for watching you guys I hope this was helpful let me know if you guys had some good ideas out of this please like it if you if it was helpful please uh, leave me a comment if you have any questions and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in the next episode